I remember a man, a, quite a religious man, and he came to me, he said, you know, you, you, you promote mixed gatherings. And I said, no, I don't. And he says, okay, I might have been somewhere where there might have been something, but it doesn't mean I promoted it because I visit airports and train stations and so many different places. And I, I happen to sometimes sit next to people of the opposite sex. I got nothing, no say over that, right? So this man tells me, no, very bad, haram. You know, you're a sheikh, we don't want to listen to you. I said, look, nobody said you need to listen or not to listen because there are hundreds of thousands of others that you could benefit from. Paradise doesn't come through my path. Remember this. I always say this. There is not just one sheikh on the globe. There are hundreds of thousands. But the problem is if we keep on saying this one's bad, that one's bad, this one's bad. Take the goodness and leave whatever you consider an error. Leave it out. But ma min ahadin illa wa yu'khadu min kalamihi wa yurad. Imam Malik ibn Anas says every single one you take some of what they say and you have to discount some of what they say because of their human nature. Besides Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he's the only one, you take absolutely everything. Imagine, Imam Malik ibn Anas rahmatullahi alayhi said this. So, me and you are actually people who are far down the ladder. You will have to discount some of what I've said perhaps. You may not like it. It doesn't mean that you will not benefit from me or I will not benefit from you. You will benefit from everyone where and how you can benefit according to that level. So much so that I've benefited so much from people who are Jewish in fields that are not religious sometimes. I've had teachers who've been Muslims, non-Muslims, and all sorts of other faiths who taught me mathematics and biology and geography and so on. I benefited so much from them. I took whatever I could in terms of the goodness. But the day they spoke about something that I felt this is now stepping territory that I shouldn't be taking from, I didn't take it. But I didn't swear them in return. I took. So if that's the case with the non-Muslim, what about the Muslims? Amazing. You have so many people every little while you see a clip saying, be careful of this man, be careful of that man. Be careful of the whole world because you have to be careful. Subhanallah, you have to be careful. I am careful and so should you. But if I've said something that helps you, thank Allah, perhaps pray for me. It doesn't make me a prophet. Nor does it make me a person who's, wow, I now need to worship this man because of so and so. No, I am a human just like you with the same struggles. Perhaps even struggling in a bigger way, who knows? But we just look at things from a different perspective with the light of revelation. And that makes us content. That's what it is. It makes us happy. May Allah bless us. So, like I was saying, subhanAllah, people look at you and they tell you all sorts of weird things. You know, you are like this and you, relax, take it easy. These are rules that govern us and we know the reason is we need to pass this beautiful test of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.